I'm out to take the Bible, create disciples who make disciples, disciples. What's going on, y'all? This is Lecrae. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the new project I have called After the Music Stops. Yo, after the show, after the set, after the music stops, what's next? Will there be fellowship, prayer? I'm excited about a lot of the songs, especially the title track. After the music stops, after it's over. What happens when the concert's done? Do you go home and put into practice some of these things that you've heard in the music? Are you actually inspired to go out and be a representative or an ambassador for Christ? The, the heavy guitar, the rock guitar, and the, and the hard-hitting bass drums kicking in. What are you gonna do when the music is done? The music is modern day philosophy. People ride around with their music blasting. Riding with my top down, listening to this Jesus music. Yeah. The song, Jesus Music, really takes a step inside urban culture with the sound of it. You know, the drums hit hard, the bass knocks. You got the chops and screw chorus. Uh, we switch up the flow schemes, Trip and I trade it off. And we're really just talking about how everyone is riding around listening to music that promotes lawlessness, promotes sin. We roll our windows down and we blast Christian hip hop. And a lot of people will sit next to us and look over and say, yo, what is, what is, oh, that's tight, what is that? And then they'll hear Jesus somewhere in the chorus or in the song, and they'll be like, what? I really took time to investigate in the culture. First Chronicles 12:32. the men of his car, they knew the times, but they also knew what to do. I want to be a student of the times. I study culture, I'm kind of an urban anthropologist, but you also have to know what to do. And how can I affect this culture with godly music? Yo. John 3.30, we must decrease that he may increase. Just from touring and people loving your music and loving what you do, they tend to exalt you and not exalt the God that you serve. And so I'm just pleading with God saying, God, make me invisible. I do this for you. Just e explaining to people that, you know, I want to be invisible because God needs to be visible. I don't do this for the money. I don't do this for fame. When the concert is over, I'm just one man on a stage trying to encourage everyone to let's all get out here and promote Christ. And I really wanted to pack all this in a project and send it out that people would hear it and say, wow, I know what God wants me to do. Wow, this is what Christianity should look like, not just a song or an event, but a lifestyle dedicated to serving God. So. After the music stops, what will you do? After the music stops.